So for this lesson, you need your work bat, lesson 2-4. You need counters. I'm going to use beans. You will need two different colors of crayons and a pencil. Now I wrote my name on top already because that's always what we need to do. And here we go. So there are two teams. The little beans are for the pretend players. And on this team there are two, one, two. And on this team there are three, one, two, three. So we are going to use our little graphs over here, our tens frames, to compare the numbers. So if I put this team in the top row, one, two, and this team on the bottom row, one, two, three, the numbers are easier to compare. The other thing I like to do is I like to color the rows different colors because that helps me compare. So I am going to color the top row purple. You can pick any color you'd like. And let's color it. One, two. And then I'm going to color the bottom row a different color, not the same color as I colored the top row. I'm going to color my bottom row orange. One, two, three. Now my numbers are very easy to compare. I can tell that. Two is fewer than three. And I can tell that it is one fewer. Or I could tell that this team has one more. It's very easy when it's lined up like that. So let's try a different number. I'm going to put some other teams on. Get your counters ready because you're going to build the teams too. So on this team, I want you to put three players, one, two, three. And on this team over here, I want you to put four players, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to line up the teams on the chart over here so we can compare them. So let's put them on one, two, Three. We'll do this team first. Let's color it. I'm going to use purple for the top and orange for the bottom. You can pick. So this purple team is going to have one, two, three players. And the bottom team, the orange team, is going to have one, two, three, four players. Let's color. One, two, three, four. So now it's easy to compare which team has more, right? The orange team, four is more than three. Which team has fewer? The purple team, three is one fewer than four. All right. Let's try a different. Now let's make, let's do a different number other than three. Let's do two on this team. One, two. And let's do two on this team. One, two. So, I'm going to move my team over. I'll color purple first. So I'll color one, two. And now for this team, I'm going to color them on the bottom. One, two. So now I can tell my teams are the same. Two and two are equal. They are the same. I have as many players on this side as I have on this side. Let's try another one. This time, let's put four players on this side. One, two, three, four. And let's put two players on this side. One, two. 
Now we're going to bring them over so we can compare. So this side is going to go one, two, three, four. Let's color as we remove the beans. One, two, three, four. And then the bottom row will have one, two. Ooh, so I can tell that the orange team has fewer and the purple team has more, but can you tell how many more or how many fewer? Two. You are correct. Okay, let's try another one. This time, let's put five beans on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And let's put five beans on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's color to compare. So this team goes on top. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to color a square for every bean. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll color a square for every bean down below. Line them up first. One bean for every square. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So these teams are the same. I have as many on this team as I have on this team. Five and five are equal. Okay, last one. This is going to be a challenge. I'm going to have five on this team. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and color them first, and then I'll tell you your challenge. So let's color one, two, three, four, five. And so we're going to color one, two, three, four, five. Now, can you make a team over here with one fewer than five? You can look here, and I know I want one fewer than five. I could use my chart to help me. And if I have one fewer, I would have one, two, three, four on this team. So now you're going to color to match. One, two, three, four. Four is one fewer than five. Great job. All right, so now let's turn your paper over. And you are going to look at the pictures and you are going to color to match and you're going to compare. You're going to think which one has more, which one has the same, or which one has fewer. All right. So I have one, two, three baseballs. So if I wanted to use, whoops, sorry, you can't see all that. One, two, three baseballs. So you have two choices. You can use counters to help you if you forget. One, two, three. Or you can touch and count and color. One, two, three, and then color. One, two, three. It's up to you, but you have to count carefully or you won't compare. So I could do it with the counters. I can do this. Now there's three baseballs and one, two footballs, and I could take a counter off every time I color if that helps me. One, two, now I'm going to put a check mark in the row with 
more objects. And I'll show you how to make a check mark. So we're going to just take take it and I'm going to put a check by the baseball because the baseball has one more than the footballs. Now I'm going to count the skates and this time I'm going to try it without my counters but I have to do it carefully. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four. This guy here doesn't count. He's just showing you what row that goes in. See the line here? So I'm going to count one, two, three, four skates or four pairs of skates. So now I'm going to color one, two, three, four pairs of skates. And how many pairs of skis? One. So can you tell, do I have more skates or more skis? You're right. I have more skates. So we're going to put a check by the skates. All right. Now we are going to count one, two, three bikes. So I'm going to color one, two, three. And I have one, two, three tricycles. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Now when I look, I can't put a check by the bike or the tricycle because they are the same. Neither of them have more, so I am going to circle them. They are the same. I have as many bicycles as I have tricycles. Now this side you are going to do by yourself, but you're going to need to be a detective. It's a little bit harder. You are looking at the turtles and the frogs, and you're going to count how many turtles you see, one, two, and how many frogs? One, two, three, four. What I might do is while I'm coloring, I might put a, I might cross them out. So if I watch, we'll do the first one together. So here's a turt. So here's, I'm going to count one, two turtles, and here's the turtle. I'm going to color them in this row. So I'm going to color one turtle, and then I'll cross it out. And I'll color two turtles and then I'll cross it out. Did I find all the turtles? I think so, so now I'm going to do frogs. I'll color one frog, cross it out. Two frogs, three, four. Now I need to look which row has more and I will put a check by the one that has more. If they are the same, equal, I will circle them. So put a check by the row that has more or circle them if they're equal. I'm going to let you do the butterflies and hummingbirds yourself and the snakes and lizards yourself. Count carefully, have fun.